around you to know that you are really or truly special. They say your love for. I love an independent chick mixed with a bag lady Throw that ass if you really be in your bag ladies Don't be scared to speak up if you just wanna fuck Stop fucking with these clowns frontin' like they just wanna cuff I love an independent chick mixed with a bag lady Throw that ass if you really be in your bag ladies Don't be scared to speak up if you just wanna fuck Stop fucking with these clowns frontin' like they just wanna cuff So, welcome to my channel if you new If you ain't new, hey, <laughs> how you doing? How you living? This video is kind of like a mixture of like the dudes you shouldn't give your love to and the things you shouldn't do when it comes to giving your love away and being involved with people and things not to do because you know we all young and we just trying shit to be honest. So let's get straight into the video. First and foremost, ladies, listen. I know, I know, I promise you, I know. If he wants. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you gon' know. You gon' know. You ain't gotta second guess it. You ain't gotta wonder, oh, I wonder if he likes me. I wonder if he thinks about me. A man that really wants you and really likes you is going to show it. Therefore, if he ain't showing it, it's because he doesn't. We have to really, really take the time. The same way how we be ignoring these niggas and how we show interest. If he's not doing the same type of interest that you would give somebody that you like, well, put it together. He obviously isn't that interested. He can say, oh, I really do like you, but I ain't got time. Bullshit. What do you mean you don't have time? So if a dude is telling you, you know what I'm saying, like he ain't got time or he ain't showing you any interest, no matter what he says, I don't give a fuck what he say. I don't give a fuck. What is that? If he's not showing the, the actions of the words that come out of his mouth, then you shouldn't believe it. And I don't believe it. Jesus loves you that much that he made somebody just for you. And I promise you, if he ain't showing interest, he ain't it. So we don't love dudes like that. We like dudes to show interest. I want to make sure this is clear. We don't show love to dudes who take advantage of the niceness and the kindness that's in your heart. I just feel like personally, taking advantage of somebody who truly cares and really loves you is the most fuckboyish shit that you can do. I just feel like that's so fucked up. Like, I really, really do. Like, don't show that nigga no love. And when I say um, he takes advantage of you, it could be a lot of things. And sometimes people get taken advantage of because you love them, you blind to it, and you don't even see it. That's why, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you should never, never, ever, 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 ever let shit slide with no nigga. Because we all know the same. If you let a nigga slide, motherfucker will start ice skating. And they're going to take advantage of it. If you let somebody slide with something that they did that hurt your feelings or disrespectful or, you know, something you just don't like or something you usually don't tolerate, baby, once you let it slide one time, you let it slide because he's so cute, y'all. He's so different, y'all. Something about him, y'all. It's something about him, right? some shit. That's just about it. You let it slide because you all in the, he's so different, I love him stage, best dig in my life stage, you know, whoop, 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 whoop. So you let it slide, right? And because you like him so much, you just keep letting little things slide. And then it gets to a point where now those little things are the big problems. When your ass should have addressed it the first time, you want to have these problems. But because he know that you like him or you care about him or you love him or whatever the case may be, he's going to keep doing it because in nigga mind, she love me. She ain't going nowhere. I can do X, Y, and Z. You know, send her flowers, send her candy, take her out to eat, woo, 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 give her some dick. And she'll forgive me. 
And it's sad because that's typically what happens. He is taking advantage of you, your heart, your love, your generosity, and that pussy. <laughs> we should do it just a little bit better of um, applying firmness and putting up, not putting up, and saying what you're going to deal with and what you're not going to put up with. And if he ain't willing to do what it is that you said or he just can't get with the program, fuck him! We do not show niggas love that put us in drama or attempt, that's a better word, to put us in drama. You are not, let me repeat that. I think I'm gonna put a little slow-mo on that part. So let me bring it back. You are not. 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 Obligated to put up with his past, his baby mamas, his, or baby mama, or baby mamas. His insecurities, his issues, his financial point. You obligated to put up with none of it. And we don't show niggas love and try to put all day issues and all, all of that on us. Uh-uh. 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 Hell no. Right? No. Mm -mm. No. Like, I hate to see females doing that. Like, you really dealing with a dude that's putting you in bullshit. Your life was solid before you met him. You let that nigga come in, whispering in your ear, put a little dick in you, you know what I'm saying? Do a little slurpy, slurpy, and you done lost your everlasting mind. Now, you here you go. Beefing with baby mamas. He in and out of jail or something. He ain't ever got no money. He don't want you doing nothing because his insecurities is reflecting and you now you stuck. No, uh uh. Uh uh. No. 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 We don't show niggas love like that that's putting us in turmoil when you're supposed to bring additional happiness. Now, granted, he is not supposed to be your happiness. You are supposed to be your own happiness. True. He's supposed to bring more happiness, but regardless, if he's there or not, you should be happy. There's a difference between working with somebody on their stuff and, you know, y'all had a grown folk conversation like, you know what, this is that, woo 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 Right, but some things, you know, I just feel like niggas bring to the table and be like, "Here, this is my situation. You just gotta deal with it." And like dumbasses, some of y'all just deal with it. these niggas know what the hell type of life they got going on before they try to get with you. They know it. Why are you gonna deal with somebody who's putting you in situations that you don't have to go through? You don't have to. This nigga ain't fighting demons. That nigga is the demon. Now, granted, nobody is perfect. Everybody got their shit. Everybody got backs. Everybody got their flaws. However, when your shit and your baggage and your past and shit that you got going on is toxic starts to interfere with what I got going on. I'm sorry. I can't give you no love. I can't afford to give love to you. I can't afford to give it to you. I need to go wash this off my face because I feel like I probably had it on a little blow. That's cool. Girl, you are cute. Okay, that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. You are cute. You are cute too. But we ain't talking about you as watching. We talking about me as recording. Well. You know? niggas love that have us out here or have you out here looking stupid. You going hard for him and he ain't give a fuck about you. How? How? You out here claiming him. That's my pussy. That's my dick. That's my dick. He mine. I better not get you looking at my dick. Hold on. You ain't his girl. I ain't claiming you. You out here looking crazy. You out here looking stupid. You know what? It's a choice to have somebody out here looking stupid. I don't know. I personally don't know because I ain't never experienced this part. Now, typically, you know, I be telling y'all stuff without going out. Now. This part I really don't know because I ain't never had to deal with it. But. Your dude should not have no woman coming to you one minute to one minute. You know what I'm saying? Like, that should not be a thing. You out here looking stupid. You ain't her out here looking stupid. Why would you want to give your love to a dude who's out here who has girls comfortable enough to come to you? You. His 
woman, his girl, his wife, whatever the case may be, come to you. She felt com comfortable enough to come to you hmm, and tell you about your nigga. I don't understand. Ain't gonna be no Bobby and Shirley, call, or Shirley or whoever calling me. Ain't gonna be none of that. Because he made that whole feel comfortable. And should no other female be comfortable with that nigga? But you. So guess what? You're out here looking what? Stupid. I don't think people really understand how... Mm, what's that word? What's that word? Trace! What's that? Mm, what's that word like? Okay, so I'm trying to say like... I'm trying to think of like... People don't know how... I don't want to say strong or how serious giving your love away is, but I didn't want to use that. I didn't want to use love and, you know, strong. I mean, shit. Strong and serious. I feel like that's like basic words. You don't know? Tastes like candy. I can feel this when you walk. Even when you talk, it takes over me. Tastes like candy. See? Yeah? So this again. You said significant. Yeah. Oh, bitch, I said significant. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like, giving your love away, that's giving a part of yourself to somebody. So when you give it to a nigga who ain't shit, you can't get it back. You can't get it back. You can't get that time back either. Imagine if your love was a sweet potato pie. <laughs> Imagine it, like, girl, I'm hungry, it's almost Thanksgiving. Every time you gave away your piece of the pie, you know what I'm saying? That's your love. Every time you gave it a piece, I mean, shit. Every time you gave a piece away, that's your love, gone. You know, some niggas, they don't nibble on it. Some niggas don't know that they don't like sweet potato pie until they eat sweet potato pie. Uh, sweet potato pie. So when I say that, I mean, oh, he gonna nibble on you, he gonna try you out, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, okay, this tastes all right. This ain't right. No, you got a, like, a little piece. It got a little teeth marks on it, a little bite marks on it. If you care about it, know what that come up. So guess what you gotta do? You gotta throw it away. He ain't never had sweet potato pie, so he gonna taste it. And he don't like it. So you know when people don't really like you, they, 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 they gonna play with it. That nigga playing with your love. He gonna play with it. Now, this next nigga, this little piece you give him, this nigga leave crumbs. He took the piece of your heart, that piece of pie, and left the crumbs. He crumbled your love, girl. He crumbled it. He crumbled it. And guess what? You can't get full off of fucking crumbs. Well, I mean, I guess you could if you ain't enough. But anyway, you done gave all these pieces away. All these pieces away. And now, it's time for your man to come, right? He like, you know, I'm about to get this sweet potato pie. I'm about to get this love from her. But guess what? You done gave all your pieces of your sweet potato pie to the wrong niggas. And now your man can't even get none of the sweet potato pie. Because you done gave it all away. You gave it all away all willy nilly. All willy nilly. What a little extra like on Mortal Kombat. Choose your enemy. Finish him. Make sure. Oh, I forgot to tell you that was the end. That's the end. Yeah, I ran out of storage. So I decided to get up close and personal so y'all can see my beautiful face. Up close and personal. Look at my beautiful scalp. Look at it. Look at my beautiful bump. Look at it. Look at my beautiful bird. So yeah, before my phone run out of storage again, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Remember, toes. Just drink your water.